the love of the Lord. Please give extra hugs and kisses to the Tindugan family. I believe this is their last Sunday worshiping with us here in the States and they'll be leaving to the Philippines for good. So if you see them, the Tindugans are seated there, Jay and uh, Rihanna, Mommy and uh, Hendrix, you know, um, ex extend your uh, warm hugs and kisses for them. Um, the, the Lord is the one who directs our um, lives, so we have to listen to Him. And so, you know, when we have uh, church members leaving, we, we feel a, a pinch in our hearts as we see them leave. But, you know, uh, the Lord will watch over them as the Lord has been watching us been faithful to us here in uh, Houston, Texas. Ministry opportunities. Um, right after um, our worship service today, the youth will be having their meeting. And then next week, the youth parents meeting for a camp fusion after the worship service as well. Um, Pastor D, as you all know, is in the Philippines right now. So if there are emergencies inside the church, call 911. <laughs> now there is. <laughs> Somebody who will be taking the calls, uh, not unless it's like a uh, medical emergency, you know, you have to call 911 really. Um, but uh, we have uh, Tita Cecil Leonares, and uh, her number is 832-620-1554. Again, Cecil Leonares, 832-620-1554. Emergencies such as you're having a crisis, or um, somebody in the family has uh, passed away, God forbid, um, or anything that would uh, necessitate prayer or a visit from one of our elders will try our best to um, kind of like see you and uh, attend to your needs. Um, Mr. Opportunity Steel, uh, June 10 is the start of uh, KT Pinoy Sports a Volleyball Tournament at Faith West Academy. We um, asking for your support and prayer as we uh, Join the uh, volleyball tournaments, not just uh, bring home the uh, trophy one more time, or the we, we're getting used to it. Um, but we, we want our um, church members or our team to um, let the people know over there that there's something in, the, in our team that makes us different. You know, not just skillful and competent, but different. That they see the love of uh, Jesus Christ in our players as we uh, play for this uh, KPS tournament. Uh, the start will be Saturday, June 10th, so please come and support our uh, team over there. Um, and also bring some um, food, some uh, drinks, uh, some um, uh, flyers or tracks so we can, we'll be able to share um, to our fellow Filipinos, our Kababayans over there. June 12th to 16th, as you all know, is our heart to home mission trip to the Philippines. And I don't know if you've been um, watching the news lately, but in CNN and some other uh, media outfits, you'll see um, Philippines as part of the headlines as uh, President Duterte declared martial law in the southern uh, part of the Philippines, which is specifically Mindanao. We have a lot of church members who were born and raised in Mindanao, right? And um, a lot of our Kababayans there, our fellow men are asking for prayers, for support in um, whatever way we can uh, extend our help over there. So let's, let's pray for our um, Kababayans back in Mindanao and for our mission trip. Uh, our missionaries who've been, um, who has traveled already in, the, in uh, Agusan del, del Sur, it's part of Mindanao, so they're under martial law as well. We will be praying for them and I hope you will include them in your prayers as well. Um, a bunch of uh, families are leaving this coming uh, a week also, so please uh, pray for their traveling mercies. And June 26 to 30 is the Camp Fusion for our youth, so please be with us in uh, prayers as well. And July 2nd will be the installation of our new pastor, Pastor James Soy. So we hope you all can come and attend and express your uh, support for our new pastor. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we worship you by giving of ourselves, our tithes, our offerings, 
our lives, everything that we own in this lifetime, Father, belongs to you. And as we give to your ministry, may we give cheerfully, may we give willingly, may we give from the bottom of our hearts, knowing that whenever we worship you through our tithes and offerings, we are giving back to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. You be honored, glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.